Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once more for another randomization. We're doing Tainted Blue Baby today apparently, unless we've already done a lot as him. I can't remember how much we've done as Tainted Blue Baby, I'll be honest. Where the hell is he? Here he is. Okay, we've not done too much as him. We'll jump on in. He can be a little bit tricky because he doesn't have like the other Blue Baby buff where... um. You get the better devil deals and stuff. I mean, obviously, he does have the fact that, that the poop power. But, eh, it's kind of a trade-off. You don't have bombs, so it's kind of like... It's... Yeah. It's not uh, It's not ideal. And on the theme of today's poopy poopy boy, what is the grossest thing you've seen? <laughs> this is going to be a horrific comment section. I, uh, I assure you now. But it still would be interesting to know. I'm, I'm probably going to... Oh, God. This guy is getting close. Um, I didn't think he'd chase. I didn't think he'd chase. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be hor a horrific comment section, I'm sure. But I'm still interested to find out. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what mine is. I don't know what mine is. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Not a fan of... The oh, goodness. This is a really interesting room, but oh my god, am I having a hard time with it. This is a really, really fucking cool room, but I don't know if I can do it without getting hit, I've got to be honest. How am I- wait a minute, what the fuck? Okay, I don't think I can actually hit that dude, so I'm just gonna not try. That- okay, I got hit eventually. That is a really, really cool room. I like that a lot. <laughs> Whoever designed that, props to you. Props to you. Okay, um, we've got Mega Bombs sitting in our back pocket here. Cube of Rot's decent. I think it teleports to enemies and poisons them or something along those lines. I'll teleports when it gets hit. I don't exactly know how it works, but I remember it being good last time I had it. Okay, so when it hits an enemy, it poisons them and it... Okay, it just teleports around us. Okay, okay, okay. It's just kind of a, 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 a nice little orbital. It's not going to do too much for us, but it is going to be useful. It is going to be useful. But yeah, I'm going to say, the, the comments section could get kind of horrific. Um, please, please don't make it too horrible. <laughs> I want to be able to read it and not throw up. But, at the same time, as I said, I am actually interested. Because a lot of people have seen a lot of other weird and gross things in their life. And it's... It's, I wanna, I'm, I'm, it's, it's almost always a bad thing, but it's not always like a terrible thing. Like, sometimes it's like gross but intriguing. I think for me, one of the times that that was the case was when we had to dissect rats in science. I know a lot of schools do like fetal pigs and stuff, but we only ever got to do rats. Some schools don't, don't get to do any sort of dissection. But that was um, really intriguing, but also very, very gross. I did not enjoy it too much. Mainly just because of the incredibly foul stench. Um, is this worth anything to any single human? Um, I mean, I guess if they drop, drop champion rewards... It's kind of worth it, but I bet they don't. Uh, right, let's have a little look-see here then. So, I think for you... Ooh, ooh, this is... Oh, God, my dippies. They, they, they tried it on with me then. This is not what I was expecting. I'm trying to use my cube of rot here. It works. And then I'm going to just do this and kind of hope for the best. Oh, that worked out just fantastically. And... This too. Blind Rage is pretty good already, so I'm, I'm good to keep that. <gasps> Ooh. Yes. This is incredible. Um, I really, really like that. Cracked, um, Cracked D20 is pretty cracked. It has the potential to be incredibly strong. Um, ooh, shall I go for Secret Room here? Just because re-rolling something as it drops means you could get a penny and it could re-roll into a chest. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's pretty crazy. Why did I do that? I meant to press that one. There you go. Uh, ooh. Nice bit of chunk of money here. Uh, I will check out the shop, actually. Ooh. We can make use of this as well. That didn't really go to plan, but it should still work, right? Yes, it did. Ah, oh, and it just gave me some more turds. 
gosh darn it but rooms like that like that secret room they they won't get re-rolled because they're like pre-authored to spawn that way they are going to spawn as that and that's sort of final um adjustments also pretty nice here it gave us poop do you really think i needed poop adjustment card excuse me do you really think i needed poop at this at this hour but I am, I am about to, I've just sort of finished up work for the day. Um, and speaking of actually, it's not quite over yet. So I need to open up the app on my phone to make sure I don't get any important messages. Because I have it closed while I'm, um, while I'm recording. Just because it reduces lag in Isaac. Um, but yeah, uh, so I've just about finished work. So I'm recording this now. And then I'm going to go on a nice little walk. It's not particularly nice out, but I, I'm going to put a hoodie on and go play some Pokemon Go. I've been thoroughly enjoying the game recently. Um, playing it a lot. Spawn a throwable familiar. Store soul hearts and black hearts to use as charges for, their acti for the active item. Maximum charges. Okay, it's almost useless for us, but I will take it. I don't understand why it's a thrown thing. Um, I think you throw it at soul hearts and it picks them up, if I'm understanding this correctly. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, there wasn't much getting out of that, was there? <laughs> right, let's let's see if we can make use of this. Does it actually, like, does it have any benefit whatsoever? It's, this is what I'm trying to figure out right now. I mean, that's one benefit so far. I mean, I would, I'd say it's a benefit, and then the game just keeps, like, throwing turds at us. I guess if you get the right champions and they give you a drop, it's pretty good. But the chances of that, I don't know if they're super high. By the way, the Crack D20 might, might, I don't know if it will, but might work on the poops as they drop from enemies. That would be pretty insane. I don't, by the way, all, I also don't know with the Crack D20 whether it's a visible action like do we get to see um by the way i like the heart just because it fits the theme of blue baby i i don't know if we get to see it happen uh as in like i don't know if we'll um see the item get re-rolled or if it's just something that we have to trust is happening oh there you go that works yes we we dropped a poop and it came out as a pill that is very good to know that's also a horse pill there that was a good horse pill. <laughs> so we might actually, with this with this uh, trinket, be able to get quite a lot of good stuff. Because the more poops that drop, the more chances we have of getting other various items. The only thing is, it, is, it does have a negative side as well. We could get a soul heart that drops and it ends up dropping and rerolling to something else. So that's also a little bit of a problem. Um, you don't really know how much of a benefit or a hindrance it's going to end up being, to be honest. That was me being dumb. Me being dumb. I'd like to use the Suicide King card, but I, at the minute, don't see any plausible way for that to happen. And I'm not going to bank on it right now. Right. So let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. And we've got a Holy Poop to store. Um... I'm going to do this. It's a little bit of a waste, I've realized, but I think this is secret room. It was indeed a waste, because I don't have any bombs to get in there now. Okay. Um, we might get another bomb uh, poop out of this dude. Out of our boss here, so let's just see. Let's just see what happens. See what happens. See what happens. Right, so put this... Oh, God. Put this over here. Don't, don't rely on the poop too much. I don't get myself hit because of it. There you go, we got a key there. Yeah, crack D20 is this guy is going to be so good. Obviously, we will miss out on a, a decent amount of poops, which is not great. I think overall, this is going to be a positive for us. I think we just got a chest there, so. It does mean other things can reroll into poops, though, which is... Sort of a downside. Um, we didn't get a bomb, unfortunately, so we can't get over to that. Um, secret room that we found. Okay, let's just keep going. I'm really happy with, this, with the uh, the situation we've got going on right now. I think we've put ourselves in a position to have a pretty good run. Didn't mean to do that, but apparently I did it. I despise this room. <laughs> Please die quickly. Thank you. 
Okay, we'll championify everything in this room. I'm just trying to sort of work out on my own if I like the idea of turning things into champions. I mean, we got a trinket out of that dude. Not that we needed one, but we got one, so it's kind of like... Alrighty then, I guess. Oh, come on now. I'm having a hard time killing this dude. That guy... Okay, so we got a key, and we just got a red chest as well. <coughs> we got an item out of the crack D20. <clears throat> I do apologize, guys. I am still a little bit ill, so you may hear um, some coughing and such from me every now and again. I will try to refrain when I can. But it's not always going to be plausible. But yeah, I, I think this is a really intriguing setup. Also, Sinister Chalk is a very interesting and fun item. As we get into the later stages, we'll get better and different charmed enemies. We have to kind of prioritize how we play each room to try and make sure we spawn as many familiars as we can, which is kind of an interesting twist as well. Ooh, hello. Thank you, sir. Wasn't expecting that. Rotten Hearts are going to spawn here, right? Most likely. We can just uh, pick those up because they will give us flies. And we also got some uh, poops out of them too. Poopy doop doop. Got some poops. Uh, so we can actually utilize this dude to maybe get ourselves some secret room action going on here. This, this is the sort of thing we want to see here. So if you just so kindly take a pot shot at these. Okay, come, come all the way over here, sir. All the way over here. And then turn and fire this way. There you go. Baby Bender. That, oh, that would be good if we had a second trinket slot. It's not actually that great for us, to be honest. I'm hoping for triple soul hearts out of this. Oh, we got trinkets. Again, unfortunate. We don't really need trinkets right now. <coughs> I really do apologize, people. <coughs> but, not a bad haul out of this room. Nonetheless... Let's uh, line some poop creep up over there so them guys die when they go across it. We didn't get any chalk in this room. Ooh, that was a nice hit, sir. That was a nice hit. Okay, keep going. Shop is actually kind of viable now. Um, ooh, yeah, dream catcher. Half a soul heart per floor. Really good for me. Also, being able to see rewards... The being able to see rewards thing is kind of like meh. I don't really care about that. But I actually do quite a lot care about getting half a soul heart pair floor. I think that's actually an underrated part of the site. I love the fact that we just spawned that brain and he immediately got just demolished. I'm sorry. Spider bite's really nice. Spider bite is quite nice. I don't know if any of these uh, items that we currently have will have tainted versions. I feel like Spider Bite is one that could definitely plausibly have it. Damn it. Tried to get my sense of shock. Just about missed it. Um, I don't really know what I'm looking for at this point, to be honest. I think I'm just going to go, to be honest. Uh, no, 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 no. I was just talking about those tainted rooms. Let's actually take a little look and make sure we don't have one lying uh, down over here somewhere. Because it would be a true shame to miss out on one of those. Boom. Bit of poison for y'all. Ooh. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> right now, that's not really going to do too much for us, but I appreciate the effort. Okay, nice. Ooh, we got a host. Okay, that's good. That's a good one to grab. It's the tunnel boy there as well. And this time, we got a, a butthole. Another red chest there. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to what we're going to end up getting from the D20. Also, this guy's flashing white because of the penetration up mod. I don't know if that's going to actually kill him, though. I don't know if that's technically doing damage. That might be a little bit of a bug. Or it might just be visual. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it was just visual. We do have a bomb here, and we have a few cheeky secret room potential locations. I'm guessing here is the uh, number one spot. Just a few pennies. Okay, that guy decided to hell headfirst right into the fire. But yes, I am quite looking forward to my little outing. I've been going out a lot more recently. It's been helping with me being ill as well. Just, I mean, for one, to get better, to get some fresh air and stuff. But also because I've not been getting out of the house. 
so it's nice to get out the house. <laughs> we'll use this real quick here. Okay, my host is, uh, I just want to say, my host did a good job, and then he incidentally killed himself immediately. Okay, let's see if we can get you on top of this creep. There we go. We did actually push you off of it, unfortunately, which is obviously not what my intention was, but... Can we do this without getting hit again? I don't know. Yeah. And here we go. We get our first angel deal. Not an amazing angel deal, I'll be honest. That is really... So that was exactly what I intended to do. But I have absolutely no idea what persuaded my brain to do exactly what I did. Like, I I did it and I was kind of like, yay, it worked. And I was like, wait a minute. Why the hell did I do that? That was dumb. But we're actually not doing too bad here, despite losing as much health as I've currently lost. Get away from my... This is my poop. Do you know what? That somehow went better than expected. I did it and I was like, immediately like, what the hell, dude? You tried to get us killed here? That was dumb. But, my dumbness prevailed. The double angel statue, big dead. Okay, take you guys out. Send us to chalk it up if we can. The flies are making it a little difficult. The slowing down is, is really nice for me, for making Sinister Chalk work. Tears Fired by Familiars have a... Ooh, I wonder if that works on Charmed Enemies, because that would be actually pretty good if it did. Dude, 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 dude. Bernie, Bernie, stop. Stop, 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 stop. There you go. Another host. Um, yeah, we can grab that. There you go. I was a little close because I didn't actually see that fire that was there. That was there. I have a gas, sorry. Was it gas? I can't remember which one was which now. You know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, that was a bomb. I didn't mean to throw that. I should have saved that. Okay, hold, hold that one. These guys can get destroyed by that. Ooh, mega chest. Hmm. Right now, we don't really have the resources to take that on. That was a bit mean. Let's do this. Anything that comes over this line is going to die. Also, get a bit of a fire rate boost when we're beyond it. Okay. Oh, my God. The trinkets today. I have to stick with the, the, the Crack D20 just because it is a really interesting play style. It is a really interesting little tweak to how uh, this character works. But at the same time, ooh, Splunker's hat's nice. At the same time, it is a little bit upsetting. Uh, how exactly do I throw this bomb correctly? Did that, yeah, that worked, okay. Keeper's Kin, nice. I like Keeper's Kin a lot. Okay, good then. Before you get killed, Sinister, yes, another host good. Now we just need sufficient bombs to actually use Spelunker's hat. Oh, Golden Penny here. I safe to say I don't think we're going to have enough keys to open up our mega chest. I'll crack that open. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. We'll see if we get any more bombs coming up though. I am playing it really risky with Sinister, Sinister Sack right now. Sinister Chalk, sorry. I saw the sack and just got confused. Um, the chariot. I've, I don't think I've ever effectively used the chariot. I'm going to be honest. I found pills. Got a death card here. Wheel of Fortune. Pop the Wheel of Fortune here. Let's take the chariot. Why not? We got this here as well. Now, I wonder if it'll still spawn all troll bombs with that. I've cracked D20, I'll try and reroll them. I, I imagine it'll still spawn all troll bombs. I think that's just the way that that works. Damn it. Chewed Penny. Has a chance to trigger the Crooked Penny effect when clearing a room. 
I mean, it's golden as well, which this is just frustrating because that sounds very intriguing to me. That sounds like that could be really, really good. Um, I don't know how often it's like how likely it's dude. Come on. I was just trying to get myself a few boys. Respect the hustle. I said respect the hustle, my dude. Oh, 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 I have realized something that could be amazing. I can make my own familiars into champions. Holy Light was the right one to take there, thank you. I can make my own familiars into champions. This is quite the development. Okay, okay, okay. This could be our way into the secret room. So let's let's get ready and pop this. So, by the way, if you don't know, you can kind of cheese this a little bit. It's a little risky to... Ah, it didn't work. No, it did, it did, it did. You can kind of push him wherever you want him. Um, hello. Ah, damn it. We didn't get the right card. There's a chance that that card could have been something else. We didn't get it. Um... Hmm. Do we have a room with a lot of stuff on the floor? I don't think we really do, to be honest. Ace of Wands would be good for that, though. We're still only at two keys, so, so still our big chest isn't really that useful to us. Damn it! Another golden penny. And that, that again, procs after like two hits and that was it. Just depressing. Ooh, we got a library, nice. This, this is probably the time where we're going to switch out our uh, active item, I would say. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get, let me get a sense of chart going first. There you go. Okay. Damn. <laughs> so, basically, here, we have either a completely random book, or we get one that gives us flight and get all the books. So I guess we just take a gamble and see what we get. Book of Despair, I'll take it. That's really nice. Gonna give us a fire rate boost whenever we use it. I think considering our fire rate now is relatively low, I'm pretty on board for that. Ooh, also, something else I've realized here, although I don't know how useful it actually is, is that we have the ability to get into our boss trap room through our secret room that I did not notice prior. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. We might be able to do this via some intricate webbing of gas. Yes! <laughs> okay, then we can take this. Speedball's decent here, and then we get a very, very decent fire rate up for the room. Bounce against that fire fella. Yeah, I like, I, I'm glad we took Book of Despair here, this is good. You are dead. And I think now is a Ace good time to do this. Plus one. There you go, Ace of Wands. It wasn't a ton. Well, that's a decent amount of wisps. But yeah, 1.23 fire rate upgrade is pretty good. Grab this. <coughs> and be on our way. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get to grab Chewed Penny here, but it is what it is. Um, also, Keeper's Kin plus Stoneheart would be a good combination. Right, let's keep going. We don't have to go to the Angel Room. Glad we got Holy Light. Holy Light's a huge boon to our success here. Still having that weird minimap issue, but it seems to be not so bad this time around. Okay, unfortunately, Sinister Chalk is well out of the way right now, so can't do too much about that. We do have a bomb sort of ready to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh we have a dice room here, which could actually be one of the uh, new rooms. So let's check it out. It is. It is one of the new rooms. Um, apparently it's supposed to have a minimap API visual, but it doesn't. So, 
that might need to be fixed in a patch, or that's some incompatibility between the mods that I'm using. I'm not exactly sure which that would be. So yeah, we're going to need keys at the minute. I'm a little annoyed that I accidentally start, uh, picked up my bomb there. Ooh. Damn, my wisps are dying quickly here. Very quickly. They keep spawning on me. Stop. Okay, all my wisps are pretty much gone now. I just wanted to prep, get my sinister chalk propped. Is that so bad? Oh my god, there's a mask on me. Ugh. These masks, my dudes. They're so frustrating. Get gone. Relax. Keep the chariot on us, because why not? This is a free Sinister Chalk, so why not take it? And we got a Viz too. Wasn't expecting that, but it's a very pleasant surprise. Yes! And I got this guy. Oh, there's a... I didn't see him up there. I thought he was ours for some reason. He is killing all my... He's killing all my guys. If you could stop that, that'd be lovely. We also got a Hierophant card out of that too. Come on, game. Where's the keys at? Where's the keys at? Okay, this is actually a pretty good situation for us here because we want to open up the secret room over here. And now we can go boom, 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 and boom. Okay. Cool, I'm having to use my bombs quite a lot here, but my, my Viz dude just did an absolute number on those guys. Also, we have a lot of bombs available to us right now. I don't quite know how that happened, but I'm happy to see it stay. Walk right into that dude. Come on now. Can a single one of these bombs hit, please? Oh, we got Steam Sail, though. Can't be too mad now. Pins and needles as well. Still not a single key in sight. Now, the problem is we might be actually getting keys, but Cracks D20 could be re-rolling them, so... Like I said, it's kind of a double-edged sword, really. That's a charge key, at least. I'm going to go in here, take the gamble. Yes, I was gambling on there being a key, but also an item for sale that I could grab. Indeed there was. Okay, so we need one more key. One more key to make this work. I have stepped in a very precarious position here. Now, do I want to take my other key? Do I want to get a second key and go to that other room or go to my item room? I'm hoping I can just do both, but I'm going to guess that it's going to be a choice. Either that or I'm just not going to get another key and I'm going to have to go item room anyways. I would hope that's not the case because I really want to show off these tainted rooms. But game isn't playing ball. Okay, there you go. Let's just, let's just, before I have time to make up my mind, let's go check it out. And do, do remember that last time I did have an issue where it didn't quite work as intended. That might still be the case, and we might just get a random item. I think that was just because of my versioning issues, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, there is an issue with these rooms currently. It crashed my game again. I hope you guys um, don't mind, but I'll just quickly reboot. Okay, we are back. As I've said before, unfortunately, just because of the way that reloading a save works, it makes me start at the start of the floor again. So I have different health and different keys and different poops and stuff. I apologize. We're going to try this again and see what happens this time. So we did get an item this time, but we didn't get the same item. And it didn't crash. Interesting. I don't even know what the other item... The other item we got was the Holy Light version. Also, this is nice. Like, I don't know. Can I... By the way, so many errors. Does, if anyone knows what's, what's up with all these errors, do let me know, because there is a lot of them. 
like a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know what they're at, what they are, but they're, 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 there's quite a number. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, I can't remember what I was trying to do here. Uh, I was trying to see if I could find the ID for the tainted items. Tainted. Doll's tainted head, tainted eye. Holy. Holy blade of patience? The hell's that? I'll see if I can find on the wiki what the item should have been for the holy light. Let's go have a little look-see, shall we? Um, tainted treasure rooms. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? I'm just interested to find out and give ourselves the one that we should have gotten. Tainted treasure rooms. Tainted treasure, here we go. Resources, I'm just looking in the files now because the description doesn't say. Collectibles. And um, consecration is the item we're looking for. We want to go give con C1049. And remove holy light. Okay, so now we've technically got the item we should have gotten. Um, we didn't get to see what it does. So we're just going to have to find out. <laughs> um, but yeah, unfortunate the way that that happens sometimes. It, it, it just, it kind of is what it is. I've learned to accept it. It's it's not ideal, but yeah. Also, this room is this now. I'm not going to take it because I'm not supposed to have it. Um, it wasn't there last time. so And I already completed the room. So it's kind of like, yeah. Don't really feel like grabbing that one. Check in here real quick. Ooh. Nice. Oh, some soul hearts. Lovely. Yeah, I also got a mortal heart from somewhere. I don't know where I picked that up from. Oh, we haven't actually been to our item room yet. Oh, I see now. Concentration instead of... Wait, what? That seemed to do damage to me. Okay, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, So instead of a holy light thing... Ooh, butt bombs is kind of nice here. Instead of a... Wait, is it? No, it's not nice. <laughs> it's, it's useless. Um, instead of a holy light beam coming down, we've got like these fires con from Consecration. That's kind of interesting. I like the idea. But yeah, I think, that, I think them rooms are really cool. So I hope they're not going to be a, a problem with them not working regularly. I'll just try and remind myself to exit and like save before I um, continue with entering one of those rooms to make sure I don't have an issue with that. Also, pop my book real quick here. Oh, this bloody spike block. Wait, what the hell? This guy healed. Why does Loki get a spike block in his rooms? It's so annoying. No! My... Wait, what? He's just healing constantly. What the hell's going on right now? Oh, give me that immortal heart back. Lol. This is a really rough fight. I'm really confused. What What's healing him? Does he heal off of fire damage? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he heals off of fire damage. I did not know that. Is that just the immortal version, the eternal version, or is that all of them? If that's what's happening here, we're in for not so much of a treat. Okay, we've actually... Oh, wait, no. I think he heals on damaging us. I think he just heals on... Yeah, I think he just heals on damaging us. I think I was just being a bit of a goober there. We need to go deeper could be good. Although it's a bit expensive. Let's not take it. Uh, let's keep it going. Okay. I, at first, I thought he was healing us with fire damage, and I'm like, our life is over. <laughs> but I think he just heals when we take damage, which is an interesting concept. Oh my gosh. I, we need a fire rate upgrade, like an actual one. I wonder how, uh, how much concentration is going to proc. It doesn't seem like a lot. Although I say that, and then it procs twice. 
Check this out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, please. The first three hits of every floor are negated. Doesn't activate until the next floor, though, so... We've got a golden sack here, uh, although we can't currently get it. I think we should try and go for this. Really, it just went back to the same spot, are you kidding me? Okay, it's over. Nice. Okay, we've got a lot of cards in here. Anything useful. Magician, Strength, Tower. Let's just do the uh, Stars card. Hey, that's kind of good, that. Good way to deflect a bit of damage. Well... Give a bit of damage back whenever we take damage. Soul heart there for us too. A death card for this room. Thank you. Oh my god, the lag. <laughs> the Gibbs. <coughs> the Gibbs then were scurry. One second. I am back. Apologies. Let's continue onwards. What was we doing again? Okay. Check the arcade already. Let's push on through. But yeah, I'm liking this Consecration item. It seems interesting. Uh, it's kind of similar to the one from the Quarry Pack, uh, but a little bit different. And it's also kind of similar to the Andromeda one. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a few different items that do this similar sort of thing, but I like the idea behind it nonetheless. I don't mind having a few similar items here and there. Okay, let's try and get ourselves a buddy. Let's just let you eat. Oh, dudes. My little babies just knocked this guy right off the trail. Okay, doesn't matter. Our uh, crazy buddy just uh, demolished. Oh, tears up. Yes. That is incredible. Also, did you notice that we just got a sack from inside a sack? Which is hilarious. Oh, also, wait a minute. We gulped our trinket at some point. Bomb pickup spawn um, with a throwable bomb. Hmm. I want to see how this works as blue baby because... Bomb pickups don't technically spawn, so there's, there's, there's a few options here. Either this does literally nothing, or this is a way to get bombs also. Hell yes. <laughs> Thank you. That is a huge damage up for us here. My god, my boy is going crazy right now. Cube of Rot getting upgraded too. He's a full grown boy now. He's a full grown boy. Wasn't expecting to get that. Okay, not much else we need to go to see over here. I c I've just realized something kind of interesting. So, because of the way Consecration works, it can hit us, but it can't deal damage. Which, incidentally, means that we can trigger Donkey's Jawbone without being hit. Which is kind of intriguing, because it's a pretty strong effect, and it's a there's a reason it's an on-hit-only effect. But if we're close enough to an enemy to take advantage, that could end up being really good. I like the idea behind utilizing that. This is Eternal Mum. Just remember that she's going to spawn mini monsters every now and again. Oh, she's dead. It does not matter. She is very dead. Okay, we already did Light Path here, so let's do Dark Path. We've got a hanged man there that I might as well grab. Okay, and unfortunately we're at the point in the game now where the poops get kind of forced to the wayside. They're not going to be super useful anymore. They're okay, but we won't get much out of them. That's a really interesting little quirk there. I was wondering why I was seeing Donkey's Jawbone trigger every now and again, but yeah, it's because... There's no way to prevent the fire from actually hitting you, so instead it prevents it from dealing damage. It can still hit you. And as you can see, it's providing quite a lot of damage here. I was just about to say, I wonder if the D20 Crack D20 works on this, and it does. Okay, let's keep going. 
Also, I'm really not sure what's going on with my cube of rot right now. It seems to be changing forms into different versions rapidly. Hey, <laughs> this is a cool little build we got going on here. It's a little glitchy. It's not really intentional, but I like it. Okay, grab that. Don't really need the pill, I don't think. Okay, this is a room for this, I think. Wait, how does this work? If I block off these entrances... For one, it gives us a ton of spiders. And fills up our health. Okay, that worked out just fine. Okay. Secret room here. Not particularly useful for us, but I will take it. Which way are we going at this point? I think I'm going to go down. I'm liking having Spelunker's hat to see that extra one room ahead. That's really useful. But it still doesn't really tell us where the boss room is until we get close to it. But we've got close enough now, so we do know. It is nice for just finding your way on the room and stuff, though. Right. That was awesome. <laughs> I will take that, thank you. And do you know what? Bit of extra flight, kind of nice. Not not in, not exactly needed, but kind of nice. Let's keep it going. Apparently, by the way, something we haven't experienced yet: the Eternal uh, Enemies mod does have an Eternal transformation if we get a certain amount of Eternal Hearts in a single run. We've never seen that yet. I think that's mainly for if you have the like Eternal Bosses drop Eternal Hearts thing on, which I've disabled. Just it's like. I think it would be a good idea to have on, but I I wanted to add it to make the game more difficult, and I feel like being able to get rewarded for killing them with more hearts is, like, kind of counteractive to what we're trying to sort of the atmosphere and, and gameplay style that we're trying to create, if you know what I mean. It's not going to make it massively easier, but, like, if we get, like, a eternal boss trap room or whatever, it's, yeah, it's going to make things a bit easier. Wait, does the donkey's jawbone hit shots away too? I've been hit a few times here, but do remember that we can't actually take damage uh, for our first three hits every floor. Which, in my opinion, is actually better than Holy Mantle. Because um, it's like, I feel like the way that you take damage in this game, it's, it's never like... You take one hit every single room and then Holy Mantle's great because it prevents that one hit every single time. It's more like... You come across one hard room that you get hit on three times. So, it it's like, I think it's better in that regard. Because you can have multiple hits in one room. So, you might be able to fall into every other room and have one challenging room. Where the three free hits actually become way more valuable to you than um, Holy Mantle ever could be. Interesting. I think for some players, they disagree. But for me, Filigree Feather's feather pretty good. We'll take it. Don't think it'll be that useful, but we'll take it anyways. Um, I don't think everyone would agree. I think it's different per person and, and per how people play, but for me, definitely works. Pop that real quick. Just to get some temporary fire rate boost. Who are we looking for now? Ah, Eternal Boy that's spawning babies. I'm confused. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> I was like, is he still alive? Okay, we have Spectral now as well. It's something that I didn't actually consider. I always forget the Dove gives you Spectral too. I haven't really been using the Sinister thing that much, but honestly, we've not really had the time for it. Okay, this is, yeah, I said this is our boss room direction. That was stupid. Okay, we got him. Ooh, and there's an actual holy mantle, just in case. Oh, wait, where the hell's our um, Soul of Eden gone? Oh, you bitch. The cracked D20, it re-rolled my Soul of Eden when I dropped it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. That was pretty evil. Right, another eternal boss here. Okay, 
Okay, we've got a lot of flies coming in here from up that up top. We get fire mine shots as well now. Ignore all the hits we're taking right now, it's fine. Oh, my hits don't lie. Do, 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 do. It's fine. Night soil unlocked. Nice. And we do have filigree feather right now. The only problem is we have no way of hitting this dude. Uh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm just testing to see if the donkey's jawbone will uh, proc this. Ah, bugger. Uh, although, we got enough poops now. I don't know where we got them from, but we got enough poops now to make it work. Somehow, I made it work. And we got a immaculate heart out of it too. Perfection itself. That was great. Right, we're going down dark room. Good. I probably should have taken the penny there, the ethereal penny, just because the filigree feather is now pointless. But there you go. It's fine. Wait, we don't have a second secret room here. What the hell? Where is it? That's just confusing. But yeah, immaculate heart here. Rather nice. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. No point being there. Or else it's a secret room we could be getting, but I'm just gonna say no for now. Range down is whatever. We'll get fire rate up in this room. Full card is... Oh my god. Yeah, look at it. It's just... It's such an interesting little tactic to be able to proc that whenever we want. It's so broken, like, gameplay-wise. We should not be able to do it. It's not designed this way at all. But when it works, it works. I just had some serious deja vu from this room. I'm trying to always stay in line with the enemy so I can make use of my uh, donkey's jawbone when it procs. Trying to get hit too many times though in the process. Like that look. That's the sort of shit we want. These, these are rooms that hit me quite often. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't even know why I went in here. I knew this was a dead end. Spolunker's hat, um, hat told me that. Okay, we're actually going to be taking damage now. We've taken three hits. So let's start playing not like Goobas. This wasn't the correct way either. Although, we can at least get a secret room through here. Not a great one, but we got one. Justice. Pop a hermit, see where it takes us. Literally to the room outside the door. I, I, I don't know, is that intentional? Does the hermit card always do that, or am I just dumb? I thought it teleported you to a random room. Maybe I just got really unlucky. <coughs> Alright, let's keep pushing forward. Oh, we got a we got a brimstone ghost. That is pretty incredible for us. Brimstone Ghost is best ghost. Not when you're versing it. When you're versing it, it's worst. But as a as a as a friendly help in hand, I have to say I'm quite quite pleased. Hey, we finally found our boss. This has been a reasonably hard floor for us. We've had some issues. Did my brimstone ghost die? No, it didn't. Good. I was scared for a moment there. Bone heart. Get bombs out there. There's a lover's card for some reason. I mean, 
To be fair, actually, oh, <laughs> we got a trinket out of the lover's card there. Not my intention. Oh, we need it like a bomb poop right now. There you go. Didn't actually proc any of the explosives I was hoping it would. And all the gas is gone now. Kind of a hard fight here. I kind of need to get in there with Jonky's Jawburn to do like my major damage hits. Or get my ghosty fella to do some work for me. Ooh, one moment, one moment. Okay, we can continue on. Oh, yes, I think Donkey's Jawbone could be the way to go for this foot section here. I don't know if it will be, but we'll try it. We shall try it. One second. There you go. Sorry about that. Oh, Brimstone Ghost. No, I think he just died. It's not procking my, uh, my fire when I need it. There you go. There you go. There you go. I am very low on health here, but do you remember we have three free hits on the next floor, so... There you go, there you go. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, we have three free hits from this next floor, so... We have chance to regain some of this health. Okay, that's good. Damocles would be good too, but... I'm not going to risk that. This is a... I was about to say, this is a room that I'm going to get hit in, isn't it? <laughs> and this one too, actually. Well, what happened there? What was with the poison shots? Was that my rotten cube doing that? Okay. This could be risky. We'll see how this goes. This guy can be a bit devious. I'm going to try and spawn more things. I was just about to say... In the hopes that we get more brimstone ghosts in the light, because they are incredibly powerful. Oh my god, that was such a bad hit. There's another brimstone ghost, good. Okay. God damn, these little spinny things are the worst. Damn it, I'm just trying to spawn more boys. Don't hit me while I'm doing this. I keep forgetting that we have this once every two rooms now. We need to be using it way more often. I spawned an imp. God damn it. I wasted health for that. I'm, I'm really trying my hardest to get as many brimstone ghosts as I can. I realize two is probably already a good amount for us, but I, I, I want more. Friend zone. See if I can skip a room or two here. Stop spawning these little chits. They're so hard to dodge. This is a rough room for us here. I've managed to kill one of the guys. Nearly dead. I say I have. I mean, my friend has. Okay, I spawned a normal ghost this time. Not e exactly what I'm looking for, but not terrible. Okay, this is real brimstone ghosts now. Hey, new friendly brimstone ghost. Oh, this is confusing. <laughs> this is very confusing. One of them is not mine, and I don't know which one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that was very confusing. Okay, that's why we need Brimstone Ghosts right there.
Okay, you're dead. It just keeps spinning the donkey's jawbone over and over again as well sometimes. My god, there's just so much going on right now. I think you need to die first, actually. You're firing the most amount of shots. Who, who, who else is firing over here? You are, yeah. Oh, damn it, go away. Mr. Boom. Don't know if those bombs did too much to help us. Okay, I think they did actually. I think they did. My god, get some slick going. That was a bad pathing there for me. Didn't do too much to help. I am just. <laughs> Doing my best here, and it's not really enough. I love this land fight, though, now that it's got the boss armor. It feels like so much more of an actual boss fight. I actually have to play well, and it's not just, oh, you have a slightly good build. Demolish him. Like, look how long it's taken us to kill this body here. I don't think there's any way that we kill, um... That we kill Mega Satan on this run. So I'm just going to say goodbye to this run. And I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very fun one indeed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.